Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Today we're gonna to get into the hips and the hamstrings because those are two areas we often hold a lot of stress and tension. So we'll open them up today in this short flow. If you're ready, roll out your mat and let's get started. Find your way to a thunderbolt pose towards the back of your mat. Hips come towards the heels. Close down your eyes and relax the palms on your thighs. We'll take a moment to center here to turn inwards towards your breath. As you relax through the shoulders, just take a moment here to focus on the breath as you inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. One more long in. One more exhale. Good. Blink the eyes open. On an inhale, send the arms high. Take a twist over to the right. Swarming up through the spine here, and then inhale, arms come high, and take your twist over to the left. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms high once again. Crawl the fingertips out in front of the knees. Find your way to a tabletop pose. Separate the knees so that they're directly under the hips, so hip distance. Press the mat away with the finger pads and the the knuckle mounds at the base of each finger. Draw the belly button in towards the spine to engage the core. Inhale, belly drops low, chest draws through the shoulders, gaze is high. Exhale, back, round and articulate through the spine, cat pose. Gaze comes towards the toes. Good, inhale forward for your cow. So gaze is high, belly comes low. And round it back, cat pose, arch the spine. Find your neutral tabletop now, and we'll take the right knee and extend it out to the right like a fire hydrant pose. Flex through the right foot, and we'll bring the right knee back to meet the left, but hover it off the ground, and then lift it up. Ah, hover it down. Lift it up. See if you can keep the knee in line with the hip. It's okay if you can't, but really work to get it up there. Working the outer hip muscle, stretching and opening. Good, keep going. And then extend the right leg straight. See if you can plant the right foot on the ground, directly across from the left knee. Good, keep working the foot down. And then walk onto the forearm, send the hips back. Melt the chest towards the mat, maybe even the forehead comes towards the mat. So it's like we're in a, four, in a um, puppy and gate pose mashup here. Inhale, walk it up, standing high on the knees. Hands come to the hips to start. Good, rise the left arm, take a side bend to the right for your gate pose. Gaze over the left, under the left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Good, and then walk it back out. Return to your tabletop position. Good, let's take another round of cat cow. Inhale, exhale round. Return to your neutral tabletop here, taking fire hydrants on the opposite side. Hover the left knee and go out to the left. Ah, flex the foot, draw it in. Out to the left. Yeah, really lift, draw it in. Out to the left, it's almost like a little mini crunch here too on the left obliques here. Let's keep going out to the left. Bring it in, two more. One, keep going. Two, and hold it up. Extend the left leg straight. Plant the foot. I'm gonna scooch my knee over a little bit. Good, left foot's in line with the right knee. 
and then come down onto the forearms. Send the chest down, hips come back slightly. For your gait and puppy pose mashup. Breathe. Good. Working the left hip down, stretching through the left hip, the inner thigh. Good, then crawl the hands back and we'll walk it up. Hands come to the hips to start. Inhale, right arm lifts, take your tilt over to the left. Good, allow the left hand to graze along the left leg. Good, and then we'll come back up. Return to your tabletop. This time, tuck the toes under, press back. Downward facing dog. Good. Walk it out here, pedal the feet as we start to open the hips a little more and get into our hamstrings and our calves. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Let's stack the hip, bend the right knee, draw the right heel towards the glute. Hello, Bailey. <laughs> Do you have kitty friends with you too today? Good, and then start to shift forward to a high plank. Knee comes towards the nose. Can you step the right foot through? Lower the back knee, shin and foot down. Rise up, low crescent lunge. Breathe. Stretch through the hip flexor of the left hip. Nice, and we'll flow this out some. So start to straighten through the front leg, runner stretch. Crawl it forward, arms come high. Watch the left kneecap. If it hurts, you know, readjust. Maybe put some padding under the knee, but as always, if any pain, listen to your body. You can hold one pose and skip the flow part of this if that feels better for you. So inhale up. And this time we will pause in our runner stretch. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Square off in the hip, draw the right heel back. So it's like we're plugging the hip into the hip socket. Good, breathe. Crawl the hands forward. Frame the front foot, step it back. Downward facing dog, just switching to the other side. Inhale, left leg rises. Stack the left hip over the right, bend the left knee. Really send the left heel towards the glute. P keep pressing into the hands, chest comes back. And then square off in the hips, left knee comes towards the nose in your plank pose here. And then step the left foot between the hands, lower the back knee, shin and foot down. So your left knee is in line with the ankle. Rise the arms. Breathe. Even engage the right outer glute just a little bit to help with stability here. Can also help to activate more of your hip flexor on the right side. Breathe. And let's pulse this out here, straighten through the front leg. Inhale, rise up, plant the front foot. Exhale back and straighten. Use your hands or not. Inhale up, exhale back and straighten. Inhale up, arms come high. And last one, runner stretch from here. We'll stay in our runner stretch. Inhale, find length. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe the lower belly meets a little closer to the thigh. Always working deeper and moving deeper on your exhales. Inhale, crawl it forward, press back. Downward facing dog, come up high on the tippy toes and walk all the way up to a forward fold. Let's keep the feet hip distance. Grab on to opposite elbows, ragdoll. Sway side to side, if it would feel good. Release through the head and the upper back. Forward folds are some of my favorite things because it really helps to release built up tension we've had throughout our day or the day before. 
Good. Release the hands onto the mat. And nice and slowly we'll round up to stand one vertebrae at a time. Shoulder blades drop back and down when you arrive. Beautiful. Inhale, arms rise high. Exhale, forward fold. Arms come all the way down to the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift, bring the hands to the shins. Exhale, fold forward. Good, inhale one more time, halfway lift. Find length. Exhale, fold. Keep the left knee bent, straighten through the right leg. Inhale, reach the right arm high. Breathe. Exhale, plant the right hand, switch it out. Bend the right knee, straighten through the left. Reach the left arm high for your twist. Good, exhale, fold, inhale. Halfway lift, step the right foot way back. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Really press out of the ball of the right back foot. Notice if you're sinking back and lift up out of the back foot. Good, breathe. Awesome. Open up, warrior two. Finding the heel to arch alignment here in the feet. Open up through the left hip. Breathe. Inhale, straighten through the leg, arms meet up high. Exhale, warrior two, just flowing this out a little bit. Inhale up. Exhale back, beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale, back warrior two. Flip the front palm, take it back, reverse your warrior. Good, and then start to straighten through the front leg. You can heel toe the back foot in a little. Send the right hip back and reach, 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 reach through the left hand. When you can't reach anymore, tilt it forward, triangle pose, trikonasana. Open up, stretch the right arm towards the ceiling. Gaze is high if it's comfortable. Breathe. Good. From here, send the gaze to the ground. Right hand to the right hip. We'll, we'll launch off into our left foot, coming into our half moon pose. So start to root down through the left foot and rise the right leg. Keep the hip open here. Stack the shoulders. If you'd like, you can send the right arm high. Beautiful. And then nice and slowly, whoop, we'll land back in our reverse warrior. Good, cartwheel the hands down to plank pose. Take an inhale, exhale halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale back. Downward facing dog. One breath in through the nose. Long breath out. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Good, inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Breathe. Breathe. Good, spin the left heel down. Heel to arch alignment, warrior two. Good, keep the right knee over the right ankle. Feet are firmly planted here, rooting down. Flip the front palm, reach a little forward, then take it back, reverse your warrior. Right arm is high, left arm is low. Good, straighten through the front leg. Reach long through the right fingertips, setting up for our triangle pose. When you can't reach anymore, then the right hand comes and plants on the shin or the thigh, wherever you are. Left arm open, stack the left shoulder over the right. Like if there was a wall behind you, you'd be resting on the wall. Good. Bring the left hand towards the hip and launch off of the back foot. Right fingertips come down towards the mat for your half moon pose. Open up the left hip. Good. Keep stacking the shoulder. Maybe the left arm comes high. You can keep your gaze focused on the ground. Little wobbles are okay. Slight bend in the knee as we come out and go back into our reversed warrior. Awesome. Cartwheel the hands back down, plant the hands, step back. 
Downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right, let's take some tippy toes towards the middle of the mat and bring the feet mat distance. Walk the hands back and then sit back and down. Find your malasana, your yogi squat here. So press the elbows into the inner thighs and then hug the thighs into the elbows. So we're pushing in and out at the same time, creating a lot of fire, a lot of heat. Breathe. Good, and just bring one hand behind you and then the other, and then find your seat here. And find your staff pose, extend the legs out long. Inhale, arms rise high, exhale, reach past the toes, don't even look at the toes. Fold forward. It's okay if you're a little rounded here. You can, if you want to take a half lift to lengthen through the spine, see if you can draw the belly, the lower belly in and a little closer to the thighs as you exhale this next time. Good, inhale up. Bring the right sole of the foot towards the left thigh. Let the knee fall open. Keep drawing the left toes back. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, fold over the straight leg. Breathe. Good, walk it up. And we'll just switch it out. Right leg is straight. Left sole of the foot comes to the right thigh. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Find a nice juicy stretch here. Should feel good. Good. And then come all the way back up. Bring both soles of the feet to touch. We'll be in our Baddha Konasana here. Knees fall out wide. You can grab a hold of the ankles or the shins. Draw the chest through here. And if it's available, you can start to hinge forward, but avoid rounding forward. We wanna keep the chest broad here. You can bring the hands to the feet. If the elbows meet the thighs, you can press the elbows down to keep opening up the hips. Breathe. Inhale up, good. Let's find our cow face pose here. So stack the knees, left knee is on the bottom, right knee is on top, and if they can't reach all the way, you can extend the left leg straight. Good. So setting up, you might feel this in your right outer hip, and that's perfect. Good, inhale and exhale, fold forward. If the legs want to separate a little bit, just let them, just let go of any judgments you have right now about yourself or that are creeping into your mind. Just breathe. And then walk it up. Well, inhale the arms high, exhale, take a twist over to the right. Gaze over the right shoulder. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, arms come high, good. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Let's just switch it out here. You can windshield wiper the knees a little bit first, side to side. And then right knee comes on the bottom. Left knee comes on top. And adjust your feet and your heels. So they're as in line with one another as um, feels comfortable to you right now. Ground down through both hips. 
inhale arms come high exhale fold forward breathe you can close the eyes here and crawl the hands up inhale arms come high take your twist over to the left draw the belly button into the spine and unwind arms are high exhale uncross the legs give yourself a little wiggle side to side and then we'll lower down onto our backs draw the knees in towards the chest give yourself a little rock side to side to massage the lower back it can feel really nice good and then plant the soles of the feet on the mat cross the left ankle over the right thigh and find your figure four stretch hands can interlace behind the right thigh draw everything in keep the head relaxed on the mat One more breath. And release, switch it out. So those of the feet plant on the mat once again. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh this time. Hug everything in towards the chest. You can even use your right elbow to guide the right thigh open a little more to help deepen the stretch. Good, and then unwind. Hug the knees in once again. Setting up for our last pose, happy baby. Separate the knees super wide and grab a hold of the outside edges of the feet or the shins, if that's not available today. And then pull the feet down as you press the hands, the feet into the hands. Breathe. Good, extend the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Plant your hands by the hips. Keep the legs straight, and then slowly we'll lower the legs all the way down to the mat, separating the legs as you feel the lower back rise. Find your Shavasana position. Just be here a few breaths. On your next inhale, begin to find movement. Bring the knees in towards the chest. You can rock off to one side. Or you can just rock straight up. Find your way to a comfortable seat. As we close our practice, palms rest on the thighs. Close the eyes. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Bring the hands to heart center. One more long inhale. Deep exhale through the nose. And bow forward. Namaste.